everyone. Welcome back to Monday Meds. I hope your week is off to a great start. Happy Monday to you all. Thank you so much for joining me, your health educator. I'm Tanisha Lawrence. So today we are we will be talking about purifying water with charcoal. And I know that many of you have been enjoying the series Country Living. Thank you so much for all your likes, all your thumbs up, all your comments. Thank you so much also for sharing with me some of your own backyard gardening and your country living gardening. Thank you so much. And yes, thank you for all your subscriptions. Thank you so much. I must give a shout out to Bizana. Thank you so much. I see you. And yes, thank you for all my new subscribers. Thank you for joining me. So yes, I know you did like the house plants, and I have not seen anyone yet given me the answers to those three house plants. I'm going to give you a hint. Number one and number two, they are from the Lily family. All right, so you can still tell me in the description section of the previous video on house plants what the names you think the names are. And yes, the one in the middle is is one that is very tropical to Jamaica. My fellow Jamaicans, let me hear from you. All right, so today as we as we um, talk about charcoal and activated charcoal, this is activated charcoal. Yes, thank you, um, thank you for my sister, my church sister who shared this with me. Thank you so much, Sister Lydia. Yes, I miss you. All right, so this is activated charcoal and it has many uses and um, a lot it's actually used um, it's also called activated carbon it's actually used um, medically um, or for medical uses um, especially if someone has an overdose um, if you know of someone who has whether it is alcohol um, overdose or it is medication overdose or whatever toxic um, chemicals well there are some things you can't use you shouldn't drink a substance if you have um, an overdose as many of you may know from first aid however um, if you know it, it is normally used for emergency cases in the hospital and also in in a medical missionary field and so yes it's one that I really love to have never like to be out of activated charcoal because it is one that is so good. All right, some of the sources of activated charcoal, according to some of the research that I've done, is that it's not only from wood, but primarily from wood. And um, one of the wood factor that it comes from, or wood source, is the coconut tree. And yes, there is a coconut tree up there. One of these days, we're gonna be talking about the coconut tree. So yes, the coconut tree, or the coconut, the coconut shell, also um, can give you um, activated charcoal. Another source is is bamboo and <laughs> yes the bamboo is right here and uh, many people also use oak you know oak wood to 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 do the the charcoal and um, it's a process that they use heat they use fire and um, they cover it with sometimes most times with dirt and I won't go into the chemical and the, the scientific way of making it and there are other videos I know that is online I'll share some in the description section of this video you can check it out but yes activated charcoal helps to detox the body of um, toxins are harmful to the body and so living in the country many times it is the rainwater as you see the sky is overclassed um, the rainwater that you will you will drink from and you definitely want to make sure that yes while rainwater is very good and very high in pH um, sometimes there are other things depending on the source that the you get the, the catchment from the rain you you or that your water is purified so today we are going to be we are going to be um, purifying the water whether it is that you live, even if you live in the city and you use, um, if you use chlorinated water, this is a great way to clean or purify water. Now, I actually have pre-done this water or this charcoal water to add to the bottle. So you definitely wanna want a teaspoon of charcoal, activated charcoal. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I actually poured it out already. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to pour it in. Yes, I know I should have had a funnel, but let's see if we can do it clean. All right, because activated charcoal, as you see, it's very dark. It's it's very dark. Yes, it's black. <laughs> and um, that's actually black. And that's the real black. All right, so ac activated charcoal in the water here, what you want to do, you definitely want it to stay like that and settle. I will show you another bottle. I'll show you a, a bottle that is settled in a couple of seconds. All right, so to, because the activated charcoal is very messy, I'll show you it in a couple of seconds. We're gonna, we're gonna put the water. So how you do it, you pour the water out like this. Oh, like this. You pour the water out. In, you put the water in the cup. And then you're going to, and yes, this spoon is my grandma's spoon. My grandma Esther spoon. 
God rest her soul. Yeah, I've gotten this for so many years, about 20 years. All right, so this is about a teaspoon that you add to the water. Never add water to activated charcoal. It will get the place messy. So that's the activated charcoal. I won't talk too much over it, and I won't keep it open too long because it is, it is sterile right now, and you don't want to get anything to cause it to be um, contaminated. So yes, so this is the water, the activated water, and you can actually drink this. If you want to purify your teeth, you can drink this water. I do it maybe once a week, not every week, but it's great. You do it at night. I must tell you that you do this at night. So yes, you can drink this, this um, amount, just a teaspoon in a half cup of water because you don't want to drink too much water before going to bed. And definitely, if you're doing this for um, getting rid of toxins out of your body, definitely you need to drink a lot of water the next day. Yes, you definitely need to do that. All right, so as we, we're going to do the second bottle, and this is a gallon of water, or a gallon and a quart, my husband says. Um, I'll give you the exact amount. And yes, it's about to rain. We are about to get some rain water. So yes, about a teaspoon of charcoal. And you can see it's very messy. About a teaspoon of charcoal. And this is, uh, this is what, about a liter? Actually, no, it's more than a liter. It's, yes, it's five liters, of course. It's more than a liter. That's five liters. All right. So that's, that's, that's how you purify your water. And to be exact, let me show you how. So this is the purified charcoal water. You can see it seckles. You got to make sure it seckles before you try to pour it out and drink it. And yes, thanks to my friend Nordia for this wonderful idea. Thank you so much, my sister and friend. And yes, there you have it. It's purified, purified charcoal water or purified water. And as you can see, it's clear. And yes, before we go, as you know, I always talk about the Bible and have a spiritual application. And as Jesus said to the woman of the, the well, yes, I give you living water. This is living water. It's purified water. It's activated water. The pH level in this is about 9.0, almost close, could, close, could be close to 11. And um, one of these days, I'll definitely check it when I get my tester. But Jesus said to the woman of the well, yes, Drink of me, I'll give you living water that you'll never thirst again. And that's out of John 4. And remember that, yes, Jesus promises to give us living water that will never thirst again. So drink to the glory of God and drink from Jesus and you will never thirst again. Have a wonderful week, everyone, and God be with you.